Hello and welcome to my first battle commentary. This is a battle between Freelancer and me in the semi-finals of the Classic Era tournament. The map is the Syrian Ridge. I was the attacker and played as the Ottoman Empire. This means that I had an advantage due to the heat resistance of the Ottoman troops, which is quite significant when there are a lot of maneuvers. Let's have a look at my army. I brought two mounted Nisamichidit with one upgrade each on my right, one Silata Guard and one Sipai Cavalry in the center, and two more mounted Nisamichidit with one upgrade each on the left. Also I brought the 6th Star General Ahmed al Shazar and two Nisamichidit Light Infantry, nine Nisamichidit Line Infantry, and one Bashi Bushuk with four upgrades. In fact, I picked an army which can counter multiple tactics because I have uh, lights, um, heavy cavalry, um, for example, to contest the hill, as well as mounted rifles and a lot of line infantry. Actually, I expected him to stay around here in the open, uh, play stakes and probably kite back as soon as I attack. That's why I did not bring any heavy swords in this game. Freelancer played as France and brought five cavalry units, one Chevrolet Liger Standard Lancer, uh, one, two, three Chasseur Cheval and um, one Polish Guard Lancer, a classic general staff, uh, four Voltigeurs, um, one Militia and two National Guards, and in total seven Line Infantry, consisting of two old guards, three Polish legions and two Swiss foot. The militias are there to take shots and ammunition, but I'm not really convinced by the national guard, which is slightly better in statistics, but also more expensive. The Polish guard lances are a very elite unit and not seen often, cause the normal French lances, the Chevaulicher lances, are already the best standard lancer cavalry in the game. Also the Polish uh, are very expensive and have to make a high amount of damage to pay off. So it begins. I send my Silater Guard and my Sipai cavalry, so my two heavy lancer units on the hill. Um, so if he challenges it I can get a good charge, but uh, he stopped his cavalry here. So I had time to deploy my troops. You, you can see my deployment. My two Nisam Ischidit mounted rifles on my right are in reserve so far. And my lights go on the hill in the center. While my two uh, shooter cuff on the left are moving up here to defend it. They are unprotected so far, there is no line infantry on my left, and he sees this and has his uh, right wing already in position. You see that the militia is upcoming and also he had uh, three chasseur, uh, no sorry, one chasseur cheval and the Polish uh, guard lances and the chevalier lances already in position. So. Now I move up my, my line infantry to protect my, my cavalry, um, but I stayed here to shoot the militia. He sent his militia to absorb all the shots from my cavalry and then attack with his own cavalry. I uh, shot the militia with both of my cavalry units and retreated mine. I also I moved up to uh, line infantry to protect my cavalry. I suffered quite some damage from uh, the militia especially and also the chasseur cheval but I got a shot off on the chasseur cheval as well and formed a square with my second line infantry to defend against the lances but he broke off the attack. So this was the first engagement. The militia suffered about 30 casualties. The Polish lances as well but only only five and the chasseur cheval some. So um, he took defensive positions in these uh, forests and uh, deployed stakes here 
and and here. I think they will follow here. Um, his militias are in the front row, and the heavy lines, uh, the line infantry behind, and uh, provide cover. I thought about where to attack first and expected him to kite back when I uh, um, attack this position. So uh, I decided to take the, the forests here first. Um, forests provide cover from enemy bullets, so it's very useful to hold them. On the left um, is the point where my attack will begin. I deployed my two line infantry there. I made him shoot the better covered one here by moving up uh, the left one first here into the forest. And I wanted to engage with the second one, uh, but he retreated into the forest to uh, withstand my my volleys for a bit longer with his militia and he also regroups his um, his Polish legion and his voltiges to defend his uh, his right wing he sends a Swiss foot over here to uh, assist my, uh, his militia against my line infantry Meanwhile, I brought up more troops in the center um, for an attack on this forest from two sides. Um, I also sent uh, the Silater Guard over here to assist my um, my left flank against the pretty heavy numbers of uh, elite uh, French cavalry here. And I sent my my general uh, close to the attacking force in the center. Uh, he provides a moral boost for the troops close to him, um, especially the uh, the historical one. So you should always uh, have your general close to the action. I used the ridge to cover my attack and sent in my Bashi Bushuk my line here followed. He's shooting into my flank but uh, the terrain favors me. Most of its uh, shots sh uh, hit the hill. You can you can see it here. Only He can only hit me through this passage. So um, my swords get into the forest and my lines follow. He gets pushed out of the forest because he uh, doesn't want to fight the swords and I can take it now. Also I send my two mounted Nizamichidit to assist my uh, my left flank and send back my Bashuk because they were hit heavily by the old guard's voice. I finally <laughs> managed to kill the militia but I cannot uh, go further because uh, there are the stakes. Oh, actually there are not many stakes. He only <laughs> deployed a few. <laughs> so I decided to take the second forest here as well to push him back everywhere and have a good base for further attacks. But it was very badly executed. I sent the Bashi Bursuk uh, in the front row. My calf shot my own man and the hill. And I sent the second mounted rifles to kill the uh, National Guard in the forest. But uh, they won't get a good charge. My line is not yet in position and no one can protect my swords. So they, so they die and he counters uh, my cavalry with uh, his chasseur So he is o his old guard is uh, shooting against my line um, which is standing in the forest so this uh, shootout is kind of balanced 
but now he sees it and uh, moves up. His uh, higher numbers on my left encouraged him to commit a counter-attack against the forest. Um, I should have uh, sent more troops here since on the other side we are stationary and I have the high ground and the forest. But, uh, well, I didn't. Um, so he moves up his, his lines closer to the to mine. I'm still in the forest, uh, so I could withstand them, but he charges his Polish guard lances and his Chevalier lances. I send my mounted rifles in here to uh, <laughs> to assist my line, but uh, that was very bad because he targets uh, my uh, mounted rifles now and breaks the square by that. So my line infantry is out of the game and I try to fill uh, the gap with my Silata guard which charges the Chevalier Air lances and the Polish guard lances in the forest. Unfortunately I could not support my heavy cavalry by infantry because they were just arriving over here. Um, I sent my two light uh, infantry in light formation to attack these uh, voltigeurs while the National Guard rooted in this forest. And here comes my next major mistakes. My uh, lights are moving into the forest without any protection because I sent my uh, protection lines over here to assist my wavering left wing and did not uh, replace it, uh, replace the protection by this line infantry. He sees this uh, very quickly and sends his uh, two chasseur cheval against my light infantry which can can actually can't uh, re deploy at all and get charged and <laughs> even shot uh, by his chasseur cheval. He also supports this counter-attack in the middle with his uh, Polish legion and his uh, voltigeurs. My re reinforcements uh, finally arrived on the left but it's kind of too late. He also uses his uh, two other voltigeurs now in the center. But uh, you can see that uh, his Polish legion does not target my uh, line infantry. They are shooting my light infantry, which is kind of unnecessary because uh, they are fighting in melee against uh, the chasseur cheval. He should have targeted uh, my line infantry, which is uh, the more valuable unit in this forest. I um, charge my Nisamichidit cavalry to stop his advance and um, give me some time to fight off his cavalry here. He routed my remaining uh, line infantry on the left while his cavalry kills my light infantry but he lost one of them already and my the second uh, one is under attack by my uh, protection line which finally arrived. So now uh, he kind of changed two cavalry against two light infantry which is not a good trade for him. He should have uh, moved them out and maybe charged again uh, but not left them in melee all this time. Freelancer moved up and uh, prepares an attack on my left wing. His Polish legion is uh, outflanking me. At the same time he moved away his old guard and Polish legion from his left wing and um, only the National Guard remains here in defensive position against my two line infantry and also my two mounted rifles which I uh, honestly forgot in the back. This is uh, a bad mistake by him to move away his, uh, his troops and this enables me to um, attack his, uh, his left wing from the hill and in a very intelligent move I uh, <laughs> sent my mounted rifles up here on the hill 
into the volleys of the vol um, of the old guard and uh, voltigeurs. Ouch! I got a shot off on the national guard, and he actually did not shoot with his old guard. He uh, replaced it, and this gave me time to move my cavalry away again. But the second voltigeur also got a shot off. So I suffered uh, <laughs> casualties of half a unit. Freelancer took his left uh, wing out of the fight and retreated into the open. I sent uh, my C5 cavalry uh, on the on the left wing to support it, but regarding my cavalry advantage um, on the field, I uh, sent it back on my right to engage a uh, in him in the open because he had only uh, two chasseurs cheval, one with 34 and the other with 10 <laughs> uh, and I ha still had uh, three cavalry units so I sent my line infantry down here on the other side he did not attack yet But he sends his uh, voltages to counter my uh, my uh, attack on the right, and I cannot really counter uh, his voltages because I lost my light infantry. I want my Zipai uh, cavalry on the flank to uh, uh, to charge his cavalry, and uh, be being supported by uh, the the mounted rifles but he um, built up a defensive formation here with uh, a Polish legion as a back line to get defend against my cavalry and I yeah I kind of hesitated um, I already had uh, less men in total and if this engagement failed, then it would be over for me. <coughs> I shot the voltages, but uh, they are a bit covered behind this ridge. This voltages opened fire on my on my uh, line infantry, and I moved them away. So the Hill is only garrisoned by this uh, small 74 unit. I moved up this uh, this line infantry to shoot the old guard. You can see I targeted the old guard and not the Voltigeurs. But he moved up his uh, Polish legion and his Swiss foot against my small uh, amount of troops in this forest. And this is very bad for me now. I have to move back my general. Uh, so before I <laughs> made a decision around here on my uh, right, he counterattacked in the center and also uh, on my left wing. I made him uh, move up his Polish legion, but uh, by a deep formation, and then reformed in a in a line and shot his Polish legion. Um, but I should have reloaded now first before uh, engaging the Swiss foot. I moved up my uh, mounted rifles uh, in melee against the old guard, which is not a good idea because a shooter cuff is not very good in melee. And he charges uphill with his uh, wounded Polish legion against my square over here. My line is, uh, is bugging out. That's uh, bad news for me. And I. Uh, target my the voltigeurs with my shooter cuff while I uh, engage the Swiss foot with my uh, with my line infantry but I'm scared of being charged in the back by the old guard so I reform and uh, don't uh, so I now can't uh, fight against the um, against the Swiss foot square my cavalry got into the back of the 
uh, of the Polish Legion and uh, they will root quickly but he reforms his line and sends uh, his own cavalry to uh, assist his right wing the Polish Legion died but I cannot form the square with my uh, line infantry anymore well there is a great melee going on with the Swiss foot and the old guard and my so my lines are in the center are under heavy attack and only hold because my general is di directly behind them he uh, sends his uh, other Polish legion here to kill my line infantry while he destroys my my line infantry on the hill and uh, but he actually did not form a square with his Swiss foot against my mounted rifles <laughs> which are <laughs> still around my Sipai cavalry uh, tr tries to <laughs> save my center my left wing units died and I charged uh, Sipai cavalry into the Polish region legion ranks in the center my 46 <laughs> held off the attack and are uh, facing another full unit there's a sneaky attack by the Chasseur Cheval to kill my general, but I saw it and moved him away. Also, I turned the Sipai cavalry and charged the Chasseur Cheval. He targets <laughs> the Sipai cavalry with the old guard, but uh, they did not hit much because it was a uh, high distance, but the second volley hits a lot. And he charges uh, my small units here with his cavalry, and they will root quickly. I turn the uh, Sipai again and charge the uh, Swiss foot, but they form the square, so I change direction and target the Polish Legion. And my 42 line infantry charges the Swiss foot square in melee. The old guard um, had a target order all this time on my Sipai cavalry, um, and that's why they uh, they moved like this, and are uh, can be shot from my line infantry on the hill. Also, I have one more full uh, mounted rifle cavalry, and I get a very good volley off on the on the old guard which are down to 78 now but my sepai is out of the game and also my small unit on uh, which is milling the swiss foot are under attack from his remaining chasseur cheval so actually he has a better position and more units now uh, I have two full lines and one shooter cuff and my general I sent the uh, shooter cuff around the stakes here to uh, engage his his flank, while my uh, line infantry are moving into the forest because he can uh, finish his redeploy redeployment. He uh, formed a first line of uh, defense with his national guard against my my shooter cuff and the second line by the old guard but um, I shot the, the national guard you can see there is the line of stakes I charged the national guard and the old guard is not yet uh, in position and he lost the square with his old guard so, and I charged it. So he suffered a another 20 man casualties with his old guard and I uh, my my cavalry is uh, still around in uh, pretty high numbers. I charged the Voltigeurs and my line infantry 
uh, charged the Polish Legion Square in melee for some reason. I don't know why, because uh, they must have had uh, ammunition still. Um, my cavalry charged uh, uh, 30 men Swiss foot, which will root soon. And my uh, last line infantry with 120 men is in position to uh, to kill the remaining uh, French troops now. And my cavalry is still around with 30, uh, 37 men. But they are getting targeted by the old guard. And I target the old guard with the 120 reinforcement unit. So, in fact, with this one cavalry, I regained the uh, advantage because his light unit, his militia, the small calf unit, and the Swiss foot are rooting now. And uh, the old guard suffered great losses and can't, can't form the square anymore. Um, I <coughs> moved the uh, mounted Nisamichidi tier to shoot the uh, uh, Polish legion from the other side while they are in melee. And he charges his general. But I formed the square. And he has no chance of winning this uh, game anymore. The Polish Legion is out of the game. I finished them with the with the cavalry unit. And I charged the old guard head on with the cuff. In my eyes, this uh, was a really exciting battle. Freelancer and, Ma uh, and I made a lot of mistakes in this game. I guess uh, both of us were quite nervous. At least I was, because uh, it were the semi-finals of a grand tourney back then. Um, so no French units are left. We can see that the game was really close. Uh, we deployed and killed an equal amount of men. So good game to Freelancer and thank you for watching.